Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. I'm just out on my new snowshoes, and uh, as you can tell by the noise, um, we've got a, a hard crust on top of our snow. Yesterday and the day before, we got a fair amount of rain, and I think it probably brought the snow down, I don't know, half a foot, like six inches, uh, 15 centimeters, something like that. And uh, But we still have lots of snow. So you can see how the snow is see how the snow is up around the tree trunks. Airplane overhead. You can see how it dips down towards the, the base of the trees. Especially that one right over there. So you can see that we still have a good cover of snow on the ground. Anyway, I'm heading down to the river today. I brought a lunch and uh, see how the river's doing. It hasn't um, melted yet, so there's still ice on the river. Um, it's a tidal river, so one of these tides, when the conditions are just right and the ice is just thin enough, it'll actually flush the river out. And it's uh, quite a thing to see, but I've never gotten it on tape. Um, anyway, we'll go down and uh, we'll just see how it's doing. So why don't you join me? Well, you can see by these tracks that snowmobiles have been up and down here quite a bit. So I don't think I'm going to need my snowshoes for this part of the journey. All the flowing water down there starting to melt the snow. It's one of the beaver highways we have. Oh, I just saw something walking over there.
There's a lot of undisturbed birches around here. You can just see all the bark hanging off. We have these paper birches. Um, some people call them white birches or yellow birches. And then we've got silver birches which look the same except they don't have paper bark falling off them. See that one's got smooth bark. There are some oak leaves that stayed on that sapling all winter long. Hard to believe they didn't fall off. Well, we're getting closer. I just have to walk down through this neighborhood down to the river. Yeah, as you can see, people still have a ton of snow in their yards. That white area right at the bottom of the road there, that's the river. When I was about 14 years old, there used to be a spring to come out right here. Now there's a culvert pipe there. I wouldn't want to drink anything coming out of there. Not untreated anyway. See some pretty good cracks. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Middle Island. That spot right over there where the trees are. A bit of a causeway right there. I might find a place to sit down over there. There's some park benches. Little Island, Irish Historical Park. As you can see, there's still a lot of snow here as well. I'm gonna have to find some shelter out of the wind. I want my stove to heat any water. I'm going to look for some shelter among the trees here. Oh, I see a park bench over there. I shot a video there. Oh, just sank in. I shot a video there a couple of years ago. I'm hoping the park bench would still be there. Might be a good spot. Well, it looks a little different than when I was here last. Now there's two park benches. That looks like a good spot. I just sank right up to my hip almost here in the snow. If I want to go down to those park benches, I'll have to put my snowshoes back on. Make some coffee first and then I'll make a lunch. It's 
kind of cold right now. I could use a hot drink. Okay, so what we're going to have today, what I'm going to have today, is some corned beef hash. So, I brought some pre-boiled pre potatoes with the skins left on, and there's some uh, chives and parsley. some corned beef It sure got colder down here by the river. I had to put my hoodie up. Mm. Nice hot meal on a cold day. Can't beat it. Well, I'm gonna put my glove back on and uh, finish this up and then head on back. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. So until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more Muskrat Survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.